Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are back. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. What a channel? All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. From the wind. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I am your host, David, and joining me today we have Amy. Oh god, that was ridiculously loud. Uh, we have Stuart. I'll be really quiet. <laughs> and we have Eugene. Hello. So, this week on the podcast, episode number 74... We are covering the Marvel Civil War trailer that dropped the other day. We are also covering Darth Maul Apprentice, the Star Wars fan film, which is really, really cool. So, I am surprisingly is equally excited about both these things. So, yeah. Let's kick it off with breaking down the Civil War trailer, though. Because, come on. That, <laughs> that trailer broke the internet. Hell, the last... The last oh, yeah. 15 seconds enough sold everyone for the movie. Except for my mate who hates the spider, who hates the, the costume. So anyway, let's, let's yeah, start at the beginning. beginning. We see snowy wastelands, we, which is presumably where the base that Winter Soldier is being held on. We see what appears to be Russians. Yeah, I tried looking at... And we I'm see guessing Winter Soldier it's, on ice. it's Russian or Poland is one of the two. Yeah... Well, there is a yeah, and I think I think that? that might be Russian. Let me just try and bring. Let me look up. Bring up flags. That is a yeah, really it's, weird it's flag, the Russian though. flag. It's the it's the, it's Russia. Yeah. What can I was gonna say it looks Russian. So they're opening up some super top top secret bombshell to a Vaulty Dearly. Cut to Winter Soldier being all Darth Vader, coming out. That's of his, actually that's actually a throwback from the comics. Yeah. And there's a few things that um, are throwbacks in this trailer. So, yeah. So, we see Cap looking sternly inside what appears to be a, a similar base. It, he could even be the one waking up with a soldier, we don't know. Well, there is a, mo- there is a um, monitor in front of him, so... Yeah. Um, then we cut to the logo, and then we cut to what looks like handycam sort of footage... Showing the sort of the destruction of New York, the fall of the helicarrier um, in Washington, of Washington yeah. D.C. Yeah, the, and then last but not least, Chekhovia. <laughs> I feel yeah. so. And we get the general from Hulk again. I about all the damage they Thunderbolt do. Ross. <laughs> so I actually really like him as, as Thunderbolt Ross. He's, I'm trying to get a look at that logo on the the podium just before it explodes. There we go, got it. Just before the explosion wipes it out. That definitely looks like a yeah, UN. Yeah, what's, what's, how, how, yeah, what's... What's meant to happen with um, Black Panther is it meant to be... Because um, the next show is, is Black Panther out of his suit. In, in like a yeah. normal clothes. It's that um, he's the um, UN representative for, um, for, his, for um, Wakanda. For Wakanda. So that's yeah. how. That, that's how. Yeah, you do see him. That's how they tie him into this. Yeah, you see um, Iron Man jumping out of a helicopter in the rain. Badass as always. I swear yeah. he doesn't like helicopters. I, I am. I'm purely saying this. I am Team Iron Man. I was. Yeah. Uh, uh, what was he that? He really Amy? doesn't like helicopters, does he? No. You know, he, he doesn't like flying outside of his. <laughs> he doesn't suit, trust anyone really. else but him to fly. And no one trusts him yeah. to fly. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed I paused the video at the most derpy look on Captain America's face you've ever seen. One eye is closed, one, he's blinking. One eye is closed and one eye is half closed. And it just looks hilarious. Alright, back on track. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. 52 seconds, for those who are wondering. Anyway, yeah, back on track. So we see 
Stark is at the meeting with the general, and he's effectively there to say, look, I'm on the general's side here, we need to sort of... If we don't take responsibility for our actions, then whatever. We see another shot of helicopter flying through storms towards a... Underwater base? Towards the prison. I'm not sure... If... No, it's a prison. No, no, it's it's the prison. It's the prison in the conference. Oh, yeah, it is too. Yeah. Yeah. Um... I can't think what it's called, but I know it's the prison in the comic books, because the next shot you see is Stark standing in and that And notice, notice he has a cast on, on his arm. Yeah. So this has to be very, this, this has to be very late in the movie, I'm guessing that shot. Yeah. I may suggest so. that doesn't wear an Iron Man suit for, to keep it straight. Uh, um. Yeah. Well, no, because it shows when he first comes in, um, he doesn't have the cast on, so it has to be later on in the movie. Yeah. So, then we move on to the action-y side of things, more so of Winter Soldier trying to run away Black from... Panther. Black Panther. You are not going to help from Black Panther. And Captain America... <laughs> and Captain America trying to catch up to Black Panther... And Black Panther doing Matrixy style bullshit, jumping off cars as stuff crumbles around him. Eventually stopping Winter Soldier. We see Tony Stark with his Iron Man watch dealy glove thing. I lo- catching a bullet from Winter Soldier. I suspect this is where he gets his arm broken or messed Quite up. Quite possibly. In this fight here. Like, there's still, still uh, a lot that we don't know. Exactly. See, buildings getting destroyed. We see. Um, now this is a really interesting thing to keep in the trailer. We see an energy blast nail the arc reactor. On, on War Machine, yeah. On War Machine, but if you look around, there's other explosions going on around War Machine at the time. Um, but yeah, it nails him perfectly. Do you think he's actually, like, dead though, or...? Um, well, Ish. to be perfectly honest, falling from that height, unless he's got inertial dampeners... I was about to say, they're really, bad they're really hinting scenario. at it, at killing a war machine. Do they not like war so, machine? Um, well, he, he has, the actor said he actually plays, a, he's got a fairly decent sort of arc in this. And if you look at the scene where he's on the ground, the next scene that comes up, in the background you see the building... Yeah, it's the, the airport. Fire. And so that's definitely part of the yeah. airport scene. The question where is... It, wh- what part of the airport battle does that happen at the beginning and or at the sh- end? And who yeah. fires the shot? Yeah, I don't think... Because in the trailer it shows like um, it shows Bucky holding a gun, but that's clearly not a, a shot from a gun. It's clearly no, not the same I think, I think possibly no. it's like Hydra or Crossbones. I, I suspect it's Crossbones, because that style of weapon we haven't seen used before, that sort of energy blast, which means it has to be a relatively new character. So there's only really three new characters in this movie. Well, three new main characters in this movie. You've got Hydra, oh uh, sorry, Crossbones, Black Panther, and Spidey doesn't Spider-Man. count. Spider-Man. Spider-Man does whatever a spider so, can. So it would have not exactly. It wouldn't have been Spider-Man. It there's a good Black Panther's shown sided with Tony Stark, so there's a good chance it's not him, which leaves Crossbones. Um, Spidey actually using some other weapons besides. Um, web? Yeah. Exactly. Then we see um, a couple of shots of Winter Soldier and Captain America looking really sort of depressed at each other. Again, at... We see our first look at... We see um, Black Widow taking I'm on... I'm guessing Hydra soldiers? Yeah, but they're the guys with crossbones. Maybe it's like... And, but you also see Captain America... F- oh, no, no, it's outside the building that Captain America raids. Yeah. Because you see her doing that, and then in the background you see Cap catching his shield from vehicles that are painted the same, so... See him talking to Tony with a broken arm again. And I'm guessing... I'm, see Tony with I'm a guessing black eye I'm facing I'm off I'm guessing like when they're doing the talk out of the Avengers building? Yeah. That looks like yeah. the Avengers building. Uh, but who's... Then you what's see the Tony, house? Whoa, whoa Yeah, what's up, the house? Probably. There's a scene where I'm um, just like caps in like an old house with covered like newspapers and stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I just noticed something. 
I'm a tiny little bit in front of it, 147. Um, the scene where Iron Man puts his helmet on and starts double teaming Captain America and Winter Soldier, right next to them is the giant bloody storage unit thing that Winter Soldier comes out of. So this scene must happen when they, for whatever reason, Bucky was in that unit. This scene must happen then. So in fact, I think, he, I think he might actually be in it. There's someone in it. Yeah. No, no, no. There's, there's, he's, he's not in it. You can see him behind Captain America. But there's the someone in the, in, the, in the thing, though. There's a body. Yeah, there there's a like body in there. In the yeah. He might be in it, but I, I'm trying to work out who is the guy in the background behind Cap. Nah, it's definitely Winter Soldier behind Captain America, so that's somebody else in Yeah, because you, you, you just get a glimpse of the metallic arm. Well, not only that, if you pause it at the right spot, you can see his face. Ah. And it's definitely Winter Soldier. Um, Maybe someone else they're using as a weapon. Then see more Iron Man, Captain America kicking the crap out of each other. Um, Black Panther fighting Winter Soldier on the rooftop. Now, one of the coolest shots is... Um, uh, you sort of see the, the airport exploding again, like always. Then you see Scarlet Witch just... Wrecking See, vision. this is really cool because they're both connected. Because yeah. Scarlet Witch got her powers from the Mind Stone, and the Mind Stone powers Vision. Exactly. So I'm really going to so... be intrigued to see how that works. Oh, also, I yeah. don't like calling her Scarlet Witch. Uh... I'm just going to call her Scarlet. I know she's called yeah. Scarlet Witch and stuff, but... I just, I've never liked then that name. Then we see... The next shot is Hawkeye taking a shot at giant-sized Ant-Man, who then shrinks down Are you sure it's... and jumps Are you off sure his arrows. Are you sure it's giant-sized Ant-Man? Are you sure it could be like? Yeah, we know that giant. We know that giant-sized Ant-Man's in the battle, and the next shot is Ant-Man jumping off Hawkeye's arrow. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So I would, yeah, I would say it's giant-sized Ant-Man who then shrinks down, jumps off the arrow. Wizards past. Well, see, Iron no, Man. I don't think. I think. I think um, they're shooting it because this is another shot that's actually from the comics, where it's yeah. actually um, I'm um, Ant Man shrunken down and he's on the tip of the arrow. Fair enough. So I think yeah. that's the case. I think they might be shooting it either like Iron Man or War Machine or something. Yeah, well, you see him fly past um, yeah. Iron Man. Next shot is Captain America. I think that's yeah, that's Captain Cap. America. I'm not that's sure Cap that getting is. pummeled by po by crossbones. Cap? Oh yeah, it's Cap getting annihilated. Because if you slow, it, if you actually um, um pause it, uh, like slow, it, you, can you see, see face, the yeah. you see the back of the helmet. So yeah. Um. Then we've got Iron Man and Cap sort of facing off. Cap's all broken up, and it's like I can do Which this is all day. Call back yep. to the first movie. Because they've got egos galore. Uh, see them just... Of course. And now we have what will be always known as the money shot. <laughs> the teams. And you're right. You're probably right, by the way, because Hawkeye's on the same team yeah. as Ant-Man. You've got Falcon, Ant-Man, Hawkeye, Cap, Scarlet, and Winter Soldier. On one side. On the other side, you see Iron Man, Black Widow, War Machine, Panther, Vision. and... Behind them is Vision, all flying into face off. And then comes to um, the part that oh. broke the entire internet. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I want to I say heard... this because I've been wanting to say this all week. On the roofs! Yeah. Um, see, the funny thing is, if you look at this scene, this is before that battle takes place. They're at the airport, War Machine is still fine. Vision is still fine. In the background, so it, there's no sort of destruction of anything. And then he just goes on the rules, and you <laughs> see Spider Man's web come down, crab, grab Cap's shield, wrap Cap's hands up, land on top of a generator. Yeah. Superhero like, landing, hey, superhero landing, he's gonna do it! <laughs> so, yeah. I, lo I actually love this. So, yeah, so that's the new, that's the new Civil War trailer, and... I Actually, awesome. um, the last scene is great because the costume itself is a throwback to the Silver Age, um, Silver Age comics 
um, costume. Oh, yeah. And the, uh, I actually didn't notice this the first time I watched this because I've, th- I've rewatched this over and over. When his eyes move, there's a there's a bit yeah. of a, there's a bit of uh, there's like a mechanical sound. Yeah, yeah I was like, I know. We've, we've, it's it's the lensed eyes. Which is no, really I wonder cool. if like in the movie they'll they'll explain it as Tony did something to the suit or something. What? That's how Tony got him, on his side. Also, like we. Well, in the in the comics, what happened was Spidey was sort of the one in the middle of the Civil War. He was one of the main sort of people the story mm. evolved around, and this is the storyline where Spidey gets the Iron Spider. I suit. so hope we see that, or and at least I'm... just hear a reference to it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, so that would be really cool. Because Iron Spider hasn't been on seen on any of the movies anywhere, and if he just pops out the Iron Spider suit, even if it's only for a battle, that that'd would be, be cool. awesome. Now the question is, if this battle takes place before we see I- uh, War Machine goes down, which is what it looks like, do you think Iron Spider will come in afterwards? Then if well, if he has Iron Spider at that point. It could be Iron Spider that shoots down War Machine. Well, oh, so you think Spidey does this? Oh, so you think Spidey's done the switch sides by then, have you? Because Spidey. Uh, was, well, we know that it, we know that he swaps backwards and forwards yeah. a few times. So. Yeah, because it originally starts with Tony and then moves over to Cap. Yeah. So. so otherwise, never trust him yeah, to be so... on your side. <laughs> Spidey does what's best for Spidey. That is like twelve. So. Oh, he's twelve yeah. at the moment. This one. Well, he's in high really, school. He's high school. He's like end of high school. Yeah. Um. Th- um. You know the um. You know, the he, team... He's the worst person when it comes to. He's the worst person when it comes to graduating high school. He stays. <laughs> you know the um. You know the um. The show Ultimate Spider Man. It's all yeah. that time. It's all that age. Yeah. I love this. I so, love this anyway. suit though. Ah, I can knock it over that suit. That oh, yeah. is. I, obviously, the CGS effects. I think the d- colors might be a tad darker. I'd be very surprised if it was if it was that um, bright of a of a spider suit. Just because all the other outfits seem very yeah. like they're like they're bright, but they're, they're like they're a lot darker and they're co- like they're like a darker blue and stuff. So I could see it being like a darker red and stuff if they do that. Yeah, exactly. Because um, yeah. obviously the CG well, wasn't finished. Uh, for- yeah, exactly. The CG, this, well, the CG won't be finished for a well, they've while. Still got two so they've still got yeah. what two months? We didn't get it till May. So, um, exactly, and just yeah. Plus side, they haven't been doing reshoots, which they have been doing for Star Trek Beyond Hope, which is uh, hilarious. Uh, doing reshoots this late and adding a new character this late in that movie? Oh, uh, that doesn't bode well, does it? No, no, that bodes very, very badly. Very At least don't expect anything great out of it. Which is, but we weren't expecting uh, that to begin. It's sad. I, I want to see them. But I yeah. want to see one movie of them do well, but it just isn't anything. Exactly. Um. So anyway, now we move on to the Darth Maul. Oh God, film. I love this now. Yeah, well, it's as it was uploaded on the fifth, so ten days ago, and it's got six million views <laughs> in ten days. Talk about blowing up! Yeah, two, two hundred seventy-two thousand likes and two thousand. Yeah, every every single two thousand. Yeah, every I single say. major, um, internet news place, Kotaku, um, Shmoes, I was like, all those guys have covered it, like. And there's not been yeah. a bad thing said about this. I thought we were going to pick on the lightsabers they were using. That, yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, we're going to pick... pick we, 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 we are going to be the first people to say that bad things about this thing. That is nitpicking, though. Just for the record. That's no, nitpicking. No, no, it's honestly, in all... If you haven't seen Darth Maul go Apprentice, <laughs> you need stop to go watch this, it. Stop listening. It's... Go watch it, and then come back. No, 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 no. You do not have my permission to stop listening <laughs> to this podcast. Wait till this podcast is over and then watch it. You have my permission to pause the podcast and watch it, and then come back after you've finished watching it, but you do not have my permission to stop listening to this podcast. What's the difference? Bad Stewart, out the airlock. 
then he, you'd have to do the news. Anyway, let's let's start covering it. It's it's yeah, it's really really good. Um, so this fan film effectively follows the end of Darth Maul's training. So it's set what it would only be maybe a month or so before. Well, we don't know how long it one. was Darth Maul for. Like when he finished his training. Yeah. Like he it could have been a few years. Like so, there's no confirmed time. Exactly. But at the end of it, he says your training is complete. So, I would put it close at episode one than further. Oh, on. yeah, no, no, it's, it's close. Wise. I just don't think it's a few so, months. I think it's probably yeah. maybe like a year beforehand or something. So, yeah. Um, so, it starts off with Darth Maul in a cool hologram, sphery, domey thing. And man, there's some crazy stuff happening on those screens. Have you actually stopped and looked? Oh at the yeah, screens? there's a ton of of stuff happening on the screens. Yeah, the screens are very busy. Oh, yeah. Looks like he's playing, playing Tetris with it. <laughs> it's his way of gathering information. Yeah. So there's all sorts of shenanigans going on on the screens, and he's just sort of doing the whole minority report, moving stuff around my hand and sort of stuff while he talks to. The Emperor. And I gotta say the um, voice you see a couple the of voice for Palpatine is actually really, really good. Oh yeah, the voice for Palpatine is really good. Oh uh, like when I heard I, I heard I, I actually in my head going, That scarily sounds like Ian McDermott. That scarily sounds like him. Yeah. Like they got a really good voice. Oh yeah. So anyway. Um so you see the different Jedi on the screen, different fighting styles and stuff like that. See Darth Maul training with the the laser droids, just absolutely wrecking them without too much effort. Wait, 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 wait. And that's what they should have done with the droids in the first place. Yeah. Just destroy them as a plane. Um, exactly. But if you look, there is Easter eggs on all those screens. You see there's the droid landing ships visible. For the droid army later on, there's yeah, the yeah. There's actually stuff. one that actually shows the Jedi Temple. Yeah, I was like, and different Jedi fighting yeah, styles. Well, that's how that's how Luke. It's a Lucra Hulk, and it's it's uh, like the detail in the, in the screens yeah. is really really awesome. So, oh, yeah. the, the amount of detail really they well. put into this is absolutely it's phenomenal. Phenomenal, absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah. So, um, so you see the Jedi ship approach, and visually, this space shot looks better than most J.J. Abrams movies. Visually, it is fucking it gorgeous. It is amazing. See the, like this is a fan film, and it almost it looks like it be- it looks like it belongs as a proper film. Exactly. And then you see the the mystery mystery Cyclops droid drone probe dearly that's following them um see the Jedi faffing about above the trees flying along cause they can Darth Maul sees them landing I don't know what planet this is based on either like I'm really actually unsure as to what planet they're on yeah well it could be on one of a ten thousand planets really my first thought was also, or moon. My first thought was Korriban because I saw because at the beginning it looks like he's in like the Korriban ruins, but then it like transitions yeah. to him on being on that planet. I'm like, oh, that, that's definitely not Korriban. Oh, Moriban is this called now? Yeah. So you see the Jedi wandering around, just random lone Jedi. He's like, yeah, reporting in, saying, yeah, they're, we're getting close to the source of the signal now. I don't know what it is, but it's we're getting definitely getting close. So, something's here. Wait, this is not good. Yeah, <laughs> Hello, go. Maul. Darth Maul appears. It's Darth Maul appears. It just starts to say that he starts wrecking out. <laughs> really underrated. The choreography in this um, is some of the best I have seen in a for, in a long time for fan films. Oh yeah. So now the only downside I see to this movie is his the lightsabers are very basic. Now I'm I'm. Yeah, very basic. It looks like Darth Maul's lightsaber hasn't had all the 
the finishing done on it, like all the decals. Well, what it, what the hilts are um, from actually? Because uh, um, I've actually I actually actually recognise what the hilts are from. They're actually they're actually okay. from a company called um, Ultra Sabers that do um, replica. Because oh, okay. uh, my lightsabers are saber forged, and they do, and so they do the and ultra sabers also have their own versions, and those hilts are ultra sabers. I recognise those. I've Fair recognised enough. those hilts before because a lot of the five first guys use them for their Sith and stuff. So nice. nice. So anyway, um, you see two more Jedi, a Jedi and an apprentice turn up. <laughs> I was watching, and the apprentice is terrified. The apprentice is honestly. She's cracking her pants right now. Don't get me wrong, she's hot, but she's cracking her pants. She's very clingy. Then you've got, yeah, then you've got three more Jedi rock up. She, Sub Zero. Um, the ones that I'll, the ones that I'll call. Um, we got Parkour. We got Sub Zero. <laughs> I'm sorry, seriously, he looks like Sub Zero. No, I was gonna call him Jedi Bane. Nah, that's that's Sub. Because he talks like Sub Zero. No, nah, Jedi Bane. I'm going with Jedi Bane. Uh, and then you've got um, uh, Ahsoka's uh, arm. You can take the darkness with you. Sorry. Is that the 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 other female one that turns up? Isn't she's the same race as Ahsoka, isn't she? Uh, is she Togruta? Is she Twi'lek or Togruta? I'm have to have a, I'm just gonna have a quick watch. She's red skin. I'm gonna. I'm watching white, the video. I have the video up. Things. Okay, three minutes exactly. Um, so yeah. Ah, uh, sh- I think she's, yeah, she's, she's, um, Togruta. Which, um, yeah. is Ahsoka? Yeah, Ahsoka's Togruta, yes. Yeah, okay, so I'm going with Ahsoka's name for her. <laughs> well, um, actually, it's, it's cool, because they don't give them names. So, so we've got, so if we look at it, we've got Ahsoka's mum, we've got Jedi Bane, Parkour. we've got F- Jedi... F- yeah, you've got parkour. We've got master and paddle. I, it's actually um, really funny. And... Um, a lot of people in the comments um, with the master is like, "Is that PewDiePie?" <laughs> <laughs> and when you look back at the face, it's Ma- like, "Scarily, it does look like PewDiePie." Okay, so he's he's Jedi Master PewDiePie yep. from now on. <laughs> PewDiePie. Um, so Ahsoka's mom is gearing up, Bane's gearing up. They're all like, "We need to stop this. We need to go and report." And they're like, "No, there's five of them." Yeah, no, 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 you can't. It's like, no, no, you can't. You're gonna have a bad if, day. If Obi Wan and Qui Gon, the drone dealing. I say, if Obi Wan and Qui Gon struggled, there's no chance in hell you five can do anything. Yeah, so he blasts straight through, aiming straight for the Padawan, knowing that Padawan's the yep. weakest link. Sir. Ahsoka's mum's in trouble. Yep, down goes Ahsoka's mum. Does that really surprise you, though? Taking on... Come on, Parkour, you nope. can do it. <laughs> oh, nope, Parkour took it to the face. Okay, Bane's turn. Oh, Padawan's going over to check on Ahsoka's I've got to say, the, dead, I'm still dead. calling him sub is actually lasts a long time. Yeah, and... Jedi Bane does a ridiculously good job. Like the the acting wise, choreography wise, it's, it's a very spectacular fight. He also he's has like, a very um, aggressive Master. form, almost yeah. Ana- almost Anakin esque. Yeah, definitely. Um, master Pootie Pie takes his gear off and gets all sort of I'm I'm a master. I'm getting hardcore now. As the um, files, they charge in on. Charge in on him. Start wrecking house. Oop, Padawan took one to the leg. Still sort of standing, which is impressive, considering. She gets told to run. Yeah. She should have run faster. So yeah, so they... Oh, Padawan gets forced push to the face. That'll do I it. Love the, I love the the way they did the the uh, effects for the, force, for the force push. I thought that was cool. Again, oh, everything yeah, in this really is cool. just... Good. Like, again, there's yeah. not much to nitpick on bad side of things. Exactly. They also have, they've also uploaded a behind the scenes that shows the actual making of this video. Yeah, it's really impressive. 
Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, so drones turn up, start shooting at everybody, and they they bail. The Master PewDiePie goes to defend the the apprentice. The apprentice is getting annihilated by the drones. And that leaves Darth Maul and Jedi Bane to fight it out. And Jedi Bane is ridiculously powerful. They should expect from Bane. Do you worry if he didn't? But all he successfully does is really, really, piss really off more. piss. Yeah, piss off more. So they come to blows. Bane. Darth Bane goes dual wield. Sorry, Jedi Bane goes dual Darth wield. Darth Bane. <laughs> yeah, That's actually bad. funny because there is actually a my Darth man. Bane in Star Wars. <laughs> Lol. So Jedi Bane cops a lightsaber to the chest and goes down. Like seriously, that's where your heart is. That that's that's a that's a finishing blow. Yeah. You expect The Master and the Apprentice take out the drones. Realize that Jedi Bane's gone down, the girl is like, We need to get out of here and he's like, No, we can take him. Jedi Master goes down, he starts taking on the apprentice. Master saves the apprentice, just Not that it helps. Not that it helps, no. He actually manages to get a hit on, on Maul, though. Yeah, first bit of damage Ronald done all day. Him on the arm. Yeah. At which point, Darth Maul's like... Just like, you motherfucker! Eh, fuck it, I'm out! He's like, <laughs> the apprentice is like, look, we need to go and report this. And it's like, yes, you really need to go and report this. I think it's past reporting. <laughs> get all of the Jedi. Get all of the Jedi there now when you stand a chance. Yeah, well... It's like, no, I got this. Just so off runs PewDiePie after them. They, they go into what is definitely a trap. Never run into a valley like that. That is like... The that valley of the trap. seriously reminds me of the one from Force Awakens. Yeah. It's like, you could, you could hear act It's a trap! Like, it's a trap! <laughs> Tim? <laughs> so, 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 Apprentice loses a lightsaber, gets her ass kicked, she runs away. I oh, know she gets. That's right. She gets force choked for a bit. Out yeah, cold. PewDiePie goes a little bit. Gets a little bit angry. A little, a little bit, bit angry. Yeah. Forces Maul back against the wall. Just about to take Maul's head, and then the inevitable happens. I love the the Darth Maul bullshits the bullshit. I love the, the 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 run on the wall and the flip around. That was. Oh yeah, that was spectacular. That's awesome. Kills him. Maul turns around and she's gone. Girlies, she's gone. And then Darth Bane rocks up and gets absolutely shredded. <laughs> Sorry, Jedi Bane rocks up. And gets absolutely shredded. <laughs> See, yeah. this is why I call him Sub Zero. It's much easier to remember. Yeah. I like Jedi Bane because it's just totally wrong in every way, shape, and form. He looks like. So she's escaped and she's. Trying to get back to the ship. She's really close to the ship. She can see it from where she is. And then... He turns up. And this is really important. This, this scene is actually really important. We'll skip the fight scene that comes after this because the outcome is fairly obvious. But um, where he sizes her up and takes her down, there's actually... You see hesitation. You almost yeah, see yeah. respect, lack of a better word. And he sort of looks at her and he hesitates in killing. Oh, I forgot to mention. The lightsaber that the Jedi Master's she, using... Yeah, she grabs gets it. ...gets stabbed through the chest. Yeah, that's Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber. I've got it on my shelf out there. Yeah, the Andrew. again, Saber and Forge have two versions of, of lightsabers from the movies. Like, they have Qui-Gon, they have yeah, an open one and stuff, so... I know, I'm t- yeah, I recognise the hilt straight away as I saw it. I was like, hey, I know that hilt. <laughs> Master? Yeah. So, she... For whatever reason, she charges him um, because you know that's a good idea. You must have just goes toe to toe, sort of. She basically she, they, she... they have a force push off, a la Dragon Ball Z style, which is kind of cool. And then he's about to kill her, and he hesitates. He sees that the Emperor guy's watching. I was saying, if yeah, if the Emperor wasn't sort of watching, I think he would have let her live. Yeah. Like, you can clearly see, he does You can genuinely see. He doesn't want to kill her. Yeah. Maybe turn to the dark side? 
it, it's, it's almost like he's like, I kind of feel sorry for you, almost. Yeah. And it's sort of the the last thing he needed before he went sort of dark side, so to Lately. speak. And then you see sort of shots of the different dead Jedi, you see the Emperor next to him going, God, God. Your training is complete. Your complete. Darth Maul. Exactly. I can't do an Emperor voice. I cannot do a Palpatine voice no. to save my life. Yeah, I, I can't either. I'm, I'm the flat out of it. My Emperor voice is my, my Emperor voice is pretty bad. So I'm leaving it there. Anyway, um, so yeah, so that was really good. Now I want to cross compare this to the fan film we watched last week, Horizons. Because both of them are both of them are really well done in their yeah. own rights. Now, could you see a feature film version of this Darth Maul apprentice being made, or does it only work in how it is? I think I it only works think... in how it is. Cause... Yeah, it does. The the mystery, yeah. the thing with Darth Maul is he's always been mysterious. Like he, even in in Phantom Menace, he didn't have many lines. And even yeah, which is why the original actor bailed out on it, and they replaced it with a stunt double because the original actor's like, "What do you mean I don't have any lines?" Well, this I'm out. <laughs> but okay, stunt double, here you go. You've got a whole role now. How do you feel? He's just like, yeah, and Ray Park was awesome. <laughs> oh yeah, he did a spectacular and also, job. Awesome guy to me as well. Yeah, um, um, yeah and, and the like. That's the thing. Like, I don't think you could do a, a full feature length movie on this. Just because I don't want to yeah. hear Maul talk too much. Like, he's one of those characters that needs to keep the mystery around him. And even even in Clone Wars and moving into Rebels, there's still so much mystery, and that's what makes him a great character. Oh, yeah. So, in, in, um, his role was extended in the season five, seasons four and five, when they brought him back. Why yeah, did when they, they have stuff to say? Yeah. He was still a fairly mysterious character. Yeah. yeah and fairly OP. Still like, strongly powerful. OP. Oh, yeah. So, but yeah, it's it's definitely, definitely worth watching. Compared to Horizons, I would definitely put Horizons above Yeah, Horizons goes above it because you can properly do, like, a TV series or, or like, a, or like, a, like three movies yeah. or, or something like that with this. This is okay. just sort of a one-off. Well, Okay, put 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 it this way: fight scenes, no ifs, ands, or buts. This one, this one beats Horizons. <laughs> Most no Star Wars buts. films, when but, it comes to fight scenes, beat Star Trek. Yeah. Um, visual effects wise, Horizons. Oh yeah, Horizons. Uh, abs again, absolutely gorgeous. Oh yeah. Uh, this means so, and story wise. Ooh, story wise, I'm gonna give it to Horizons. G- just because yeah. with Maul you don't need a story. I think it's sort yeah, of um, exactly. counterproductive trying to compare them two for that, story-wise. Yeah, I'm just trying to think of three or four points. That being said, this is but... one of the... And not just in Star Wars. In general, this is one of the best fan name films in the past few years. Oh yeah, it's... I would put this up there with Star Trek Renegade, Star Trek Horizon. I would actually, I'd put it above Renegades, below Horizons. Um, it's definitely one of the best fan films I've seen in years. It is. Um, the only thing, only one that I know of that comes close to it was that Stargate Universe one we did a while ago. That's name I can't remember. Done by um, what's his name? Give me two seconds. I just gotta bring up. Where is it? Are you? T- Pretty sure it's Samuel Cockings. Samuel Cockings did a Star- yeah that one yeah Stargate Universe fan film, which was really good. Um. So yeah. But no, this is cl- so... one of the best, if 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 not probably the best Star Wars fan film I've watched. And I've watched a few in my time. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's definitely worth watching. If you haven't watched it, definitely watch it. It's really, really good. So, moving on, 
we have the model report by Eugene. Uh, this week's model. Must you- this week's model report are going to be a little short because I've covered so many of the models that are out. I'm running out of some some new stuff to tell people about. So um, there's um, the Night Rider model model kit was reissued and is available at your local hobby stores. The Ghostbusters Acto One has been reissued. Um, there's a few others out that you you can check out for different cars and so forth. Um, one other piece of information we'll be covering this in another week or two. Loot Crate is doing a, is doing a special Firefly I crate. They'll be doing them doing um, them every other month, and they are going to include an exclusive. Exclusive um, little damn heroes figures, and they will be exclusive to those crates. The last, and they look really, really cool. And the last, they look really, really cool. The last day to get the premiere set is tomorrow. So if you want to order it, you need to get on loot. Now's your chance. Not let. Yep, this is the last chance to get them. Uh, random note, um, they've just released the new Captain America Civil War Lego sets in all Australian stores, so if you're chasing those sets and you haven't got them yet, then now's your chance to get them. I haven't got them at all. I saw... But not in my lounge room, I swear. I saw a couple of them here in the US. Uh, but They're really good sets. But that's... So, anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in. That's the report from Perry County Hobbies. Sweet. So I guess that moves us on to the news, and since we had almost no news last week, we have a lot to catch up on this week. <laughs> yep, and some really cool Batman news this week. Oh, God. Not, not the movie. Oh, killing yes. joke. Yes, Mark Hamill has, has shared the first images of killing joke on Twitter. Because he's back as, because because Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill are back as their iconic roles. Wait, and it's oh, yeah. great. It's actually. I, I think Mark Hamill is known more as Joker Luke. than he is as Luke <laughs> yep. at this point. <laughs> so that might that might change with the coming Star Wars movies. Depends on the kill off. At the moment, he he's, yeah, so, wouldn't surprise me if they do. The cool thing is with the so, with the tweets is, is that he did three separate tweets. Eventually spelling out yeah. the killing jerk. The first one is <laughs> in capitals. The all it takes is one bad day to reduce the sanest man alive to lunacy. Just one bad day. Next one is killing. Remember, there's always madness. Madness is the emergency exit. <laughs> only oh, only Mark Hamill could get away with this. And the last one is jerk. <laughs> if I have to have a pass, then I prefer it to be a, I prefer it to be multiple choice. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mark Hamill, we love you as Joker. We can. So this will debut at um co- at uh, San Diego Comic Con this year, and then we'll actually get released on DVD um later in the year. Nice. So I. That's based on the the Killing Joke comic, and pretty much every Batman fan, every DC loves, fan, this is, every comic book fan. This is one been, of the few. It's like. Th- it's like the number one story for Batman of yeah, all time. And it's also... And if it's not number one, it's in the top five. Also, everyone's the, the, one of the most gruesome ones as well. Yeah. So. And I believe they've been given an R rating for this as well, so... And they're going to keep their R rating. Ooh, R rated Batman. So, they've done... Speaking of R ratings, you hear Batman vs. Superman's going for an R rating? In, what are they, like, at release DVD or... Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That was the favorite of my response was, yeah, just copy Deadpool. Goodbye, go away. <laughs> Alright, so uh, let's start couple... catching up the... oh, you go. A couple of those DC cartoons have gotten R ratings. Not too many of them, but a couple have. Yeah, some of them are like, like um, probably one of the most famous ones. That I don't know if it has an R rating, but I think it would have been better if it did. It was um, Under the Red Hood, which tells the story. Yeah. 
which Much tells the that. story of um Jason Todd, the second Batman, which, again, really well done. Yeah, I think I had that too. Oh yeah. The but yeah, Arkham no, can one. They, well, not. El- Elroy, one of my mates, Elroy won it, and he doesn't have a Blu-ray player, so he's like, "Do you want this?" I'm like, "Sure, why not?" <laughs> sat on my shelf for six months and I watched it. I was like, "Holy crap, yeah. this is great!" There's one thing DC have done well over the years. It's their animated stuff has probably been the best. Oh yeah. See, over DC currently, DC rules the TV. Netflix rules the internet. Sorry, the the Netflix stuff rules the internet side. So that's Marvel. Marvel is still slaughtering them at the box office for movies. But DC's got the cartoon side of things and the kitty aim shows. DC tends to, to crap all over Marvel at that. Now, Marvel has had its moments, like X-Men back in the 90s was re- really, really good, but since It's then, been DC... DC, DC up, really think... have done, like, the, the Batman anime series was huge. Young yeah. Justice was quite possibly one of the biggest... I watch it back. Origi- I want Young Justice original back. Teen Titans. There is... Yeah, the there is Titans talks that they could do a season three of, of Young Justice. It left there it so this... far open. Yeah. There is well, there is a script, and oh, yeah. the showrunners are ready to, to um to do it. They're just waiting okay. for confirmation. Yeah. It's probably going to happen. All right, uh, moving on to news that I missed from last week. Sorry, <laughs> but yeah, we run out of time. It happens. Uh, Katie Sackhoff is producing and starring her own sci-fi series. Yeah, that's going to be good. I'm looking forward. Yep. To that. Uh, it's going to be called uh, Rain. Uh, she plays... Uh, uh, does, does she grab the cat and bring the gun in? <laughs> no, you don't get the Battlestar Galactica reference? Really? Oh, I get it. What do you think I, what do you think I went... <laughs> the worst laugh ever. Just keep going. I, just, I, <laughs> I managed to break him. Yes. But no, um, it's called uh, Rain, and um, Rain is the character that she's going to play. It's a soldier exploring what's left of civilizations after the effects of global warming have ravaged her planet. Yay! So it's a documentary. <laughs> pretty much, it's a sci-fi. It's a pretty much a sci-fi documentary. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, ha- um, Keep going. So the Han Solo uh, film. We know that they're doing a hand solo um, anthology film, and yeah. it has been confirmed that Chewie, uh, the moment that Han and Chewie met, will happen in that movie. Finally, like how, how nice. like how the whole story of how those two got together happened. Because no one, please no one tell knows. me it starts off with Han driving some. Shitty crap bucket of a he ship. He has a shitty crap bucket of and a it ship. Ends with him and Chewie. He always has Falcon. a shitty crap bucket of a ship. No, no, it ends. <laughs> it ends with him in the Falcon with Chewie. That would don't be think nice. It, like, it don't starts think off it with him an upgrade. trying to. <laughs> no, no, I was thinking. Imagine he's him flying around in Slave One because reasons. He borrowed it from somewhere, like a drug idiot. Like, like one of those really bad teenager movies where he rocks up in a cop car. Same sort of thing. He rocks up in like a Imperial landing dropship sort of dealy to the card game where he wins the Millennium Falcon. So this is a cool story that uh, popped up yesterday. Uh, John uh, John Boyega yeah. um, actually visited uh, the Royal London uh, Royal London Children's uh, Hospital as Finn. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, so this is a really like this is a really awesome story. That um he went to the kids um there was a kid that was dressed as as, as um crater and they had like a little lightsaber fight and stuff. He's so tight. like this is, I was like ah oh, love it. Oh yes, a lot of people overestimate fans, but oh yeah he he fans was of a lot oh, of the series. A, like he was a, like all the new cast were fans of the originals. So. Exactly, and um the uh. The Secrets of the Force Awakens is one of the things going to be on the Blu-ray DVD on one of the special features, and there's a sneak peek to um behind the scenes, like a sneak peek of it. <laughs> and apparently, yeah. Adam Driver got so was pissed off every time he got on the outfit because it was a pain in the ass to get to. That's why he was so angry and kept having tanta tantrums. <laughs> it was like I was so pissed off I was already in character by the time we were starting to, ready to shoot. 
<laughs> explains so much. But no, there's a cool, there's a cool oh, sort yeah. of cool tidbit in that, and obviously, all all I'm gonna say is when it when it when it comes to him, in our world we have medication. <laughs> In Star Wars world, they just give you a lightsaber. That's <laughs> uh, terrifying. A little bit. Well, yeah. you can't deny there's it, also, though. There's also a lot of set photos coming um, coming out of sh- um, sh- um, for Episode Eight. Like they're actually like releasing set shots. Oops. Like they're not yeah. they're not being so secretive this time. So um, we there is. Well, I think that the secretive stuff is sort of worn off at this point. The mystery is gone. There's still a bit of mystery. A little bit of mystery. Not much mystery. But yeah, um, there's a picture right, of oh, there's a picture of the giant Millennium Falcon. So we got the big. So they're using the big life size one that they created for Episode Seven again. And they've nice. also been doing a lot. Well, they, they had to get their money out oh, of that yeah. damn thing. I'm surprised they don't rent it out as like a hotel. You could sleep in it for a night. How much money would you pay to sleep in the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> Man, just just walking around it would be awesome. And they've also um, been releasing um, set shots from um, they're shooting in um, Dubrovnik. I think that's it. nice. Um, it looks this looks very interesting because this um, this is like there um, there's like a sp- there's like speeders, so we actually get like our first look at speeders and stuff. But it also looks like a royalty area, so I'm wondering if this is going to set up like this is going to be like the base setup for like where they're going to have the new the since the the old Re- new republic got blown to pieces. I wonder if this is where going to set yeah. it up in here because they've been because they've been shots yeah. of like um because I've had to shut down the um like shop streets and everything for like the past couple of months because they've been shooting there. And there have been like this, like actual doors that like have the buttons on that open that look like, um, that looks like, um, Parliament stuff. So there's a few rumors flying about that. Wait. Also, there's a gi- there's also a, a giant, um, giant beast. Not sure what it is. It's just some giant mechanical giant thing. Beast. And uh, speculation. Is it a T Rex? It no, it's a not T-Rex. a dinosaur. It has four legs. Dinosaurs have four legs. And which one you're talking about? Could be a Spinosaurus. It has mm, four true. legs. True. <laughs> I think I broke Stuart. <laughs> Probably doesn't enough help with the brain. Enough with your <laughs> damn dinosaur talk. I hate having Blue Flash and Arrow News because they're on a hiatus for a month. I know, that sucks. Stupid Winter Olympics. Yeah. What? Stupid Winter Olympics. The Winter Olympics is the reason why they're on hiatus. Really? That's what I've been told. I didn't know it. I was told it was the... I was reading about that online. It's that they're on hiatus because the Winter Olympics is on something, something, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, whatever. That's fucking stupid. Uh, I just thought it was a spring break. <laughs> I still think the break's stupid. It so, sucks. Like, I want my arrow yeah. flash. There's questions hey, that need to be answered. Legends is still going. Actually, Legends no, is Legends is, going, the, so is actually taking a two-week break going. now as well. <laughs> but I think Rebels is... I think I Rebels is back now. this week, so... Yeah. And S.H.I.E.L.D. started. Yeah, S.H.I.E.L.D. and Gotham yes. are back. So actually, yeah, because they did a... The, Okay, well, they I did something guess. interesting with Gotham, actually, and a lot of people are unhappy with it. They did a female Joker. <laughs> Sorry, but that doesn't work. Yeah. Well, no, no, it, it's the it's not yeah. like it's that it's the idea of the Joker, like bounces between person to person. That, that it's not the same person. Yeah. So that was the setup in last season. The last season was that laugh will will go, will haunt the children of Gotham forever, and that's sort of the point. So, I like the Mister Freeze. That was pretty cool. <laughs> there's a there's a funny meme with the Mister Freeze. It was uh, it was like um, a hockey player um, uh, fused with with like a with like Captain Cold. <laughs> 
because of the big bulky suit. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, uh, I I do think that um, Captain Cold would win because he's just more agile. Yeah. That said, at the end of the story, now he's reached the point where he's got to stay sub zero or he will die. So that's sort of yeah. amazing. Sort of expected, though. Oh yeah, this is cool. Yeah, this is cool. Um, ILM uh, released some co- uh, released some co- um concept art for Force Awakens. There was nice. some really interesting pieces in the, in here. Like... Uh, uh, Fal- uh, like different designs for the Falcon, for BB-8, for Kylo Ren, for the X wings and stuff like. There's some really cool bits and pieces in this. By any chance, uh, by any chance, are any of the designs for Kylo Ren Vader looking? Yes. Worse. <laughs> so, so, no, no, no. I was going to say, are they worse? Because his current design is pretty. Fucking oh, there's some really shocking. So ones. it's going to be hard to go worse. There's also so, re- there's also wow, really they're, interesting they're um, worse. Uh, a photo. Uh, 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 one of the concepts asks is is Kylo Ren interrogating a Jedi. Like it's a pro- like an actual Ooh. proper like he's in an old Republic Jedi gear. Well, that's a very long-lived Jedi. Well, I'm guessing it? it's, I'm guessing Daniel it could have been Luke. Too. You can't see the yeah, face or anything, but you can definitely see like it's it's Jedi clothing. Yeah, possibly. So, also, yeah, the, but I think we'll my favorite one of this is the Tie Fighters. And so, when the Tie Fighters land, their wings actually fall, fall down. I was like, yeah. oh, if only that actually happened. Yeah. But no. It, it cool. doesn't. Uh, I hate looking at the Vader concept out. Because obviously, like, when they were bringing Vader back, because uh, we knew they brought the helmet back, they were looking at if they were going to change the helmet or not. There's some ugly ass designs in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's funny. Did you see if fans actually got the proper burnt version? of the helmet and said this is actually what it looked like after yeah. the fire it showed that it looked nothing like oh, the, the, yeah. the manky version also yeah. the the original concept half of the look looks really terrifying because he oh, yeah. has a fucking ponytail what? yeah all, oh, it's, it's all like with his like so grey beard went... and then his hair is done up in a ponytail like a samurai, like a samurai so style ponytail. Full. What the hell? I'm, I'm so glad, glad you didn't go with that. Oh yeah. So. And I st- still love his anyway. Like, like, Any other news? Not that I'm aware of. I think it's just Spidey broke the internet last week. Is the major news? Oh yeah. So, anyway, um, since we're running up to the end of the show, I've got a little bit of a secret to tell you guys. You need to jump on Facebook and look up Sci-Fi Wars. Um, it's something that we might be working on, we might not. Not allowed to say too much. Um, it's currently growing really quickly. So jump on board. We're focusing primarily on sci-fi ship versus ship sort of combat scenarios. Give us a like, give us a comment, all that sort of fun stuff. Um, the, you can find the podcast at facebook.com slash save sci-fi podcast, one word. You can find... Save sci-fi at facebook.com so save sci-fi keep an eye on both for different news and other fun things all the model report stuff is shared on facebook.com so save sci-fi podcast uh bloody hell I'm running out of things to there's something else I've got to remember to say but I can't remember what it is okay it's a thing it's a thing that you forgot no I don't know I'll, I'll remember it like three minutes after this is, it a, is it a thing so, called love <laughs> I don't understand that concept. It's a... S- uh. Anyway, that's it for this week. We'll catch you guys catch later. See you next week. Um, see you next week. Bye. As, as I said, keep an eye on facebook.com slash save sci-fi, facebook.com slash save sci-fi podcast, and facebook.com slash sci-fi wars. Um, and make sure you check out that Darth Maul, Maul video. It's definitely worth watching. If you haven't already, then why? Why? Hi, all. Anyway. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, there's there's Oh, Garrison 7. 
always forget Garrison 7. Make sure you keep it on the Garrison 7 page. They're going to Supernova. They're going to be announcing something massive there. I cannot say what. I could just say that they're going to be announcing something huge. So make sure you go to Supernova. Make sure you keep it on Garrison 7. Make sure you keep it on Garrison 7. Make sure